All right, guys, we're going to try <clears throat> this again. One way I can chicken. I'm not going to do an overall step-by-step -step video, just more of a quick how I. This is more for experienced canners out there. This is most definitely a rogue canning. Now, last time I tried this, I did it on the grill. They didn't get onto the grill until really late. I ended up falling asleep, oversleeping for two hours till my husband got home and burnt my chicken. So let's do this again. Generally in the summertime, I do it in a crock pot. I had tried it in a grill just to see. Next time I do it in the grill, I'll make sure it's during the day. All right, so I'm just gonna do it the way I always do it. Crock pot in the summer. If it was winter time, I'd do it in my oven. You've seen me do it in my oven in my cast iron um, wok is what I do it in in the winter time. But in the summertime, it's too hot to use my gas grill, so we go with crock pot. So, chicken covered in, you can do Italian or zesty Italian, choice is yours, or any other seasoning and or flavoring you want, including barbecue. Boom. I just completely cover it. A whole bottle. I always do these, uh, what are they, 16 ounce bottles, pint bottles. Put the lid on it, cook it on low all night long. Tomorrow morning, I'll can it. We'll be back, you guys. There we have it, guys. It is so dark. I mean, the lighting. The chicken's dark, too, because it's done. And remember, um, it was cooked in Italian dressing, so it will be slightly dark because that's an oil. So it got good and cooked in an oil all night long. Now I'm going to take and pull all this chicken out and start sorting through it. We'll be back. All right, guys, there we have it. Out of the chicken from the crock pot, I got three jars of um, fried chicken. And then I took, took all the bones and the skin and all the gristle and everything and put it in my copper roaster with water and roasted it um, on low for um, eight hours. I think it was like 10 hours because it was overnight. Um, and I ended up with this beautiful chicken broth and it tastes like fried chicken because I've already used a jar of it. I had gotten six jars. Um, and all of that for like 11, 12 dollars, something like that. Um, now for me that's well worth it. Um, one jar of chicken can make us a full huge potato gravy meal and I'll always have leftovers when I make potato gravy one jar can make an entire salad dinner for all four of us one jar can make an entire um, chicken wrap meal for all of us one jar can make an entire quesadilla meal for all of us um, they're extremely versatile now when I buy meat and chicken and well, meat in general, or bones, I always look at them in two terms. Short-term storage or long-term storage. If I want to make it for a meal and use it for just a single meal, within the next month or two, I freeze it in my freezer. If I want it for long-term storage to go on my shelf and be there for a long time, then I can it. So I have two different forms of storage, actually three because I also dehydrate if I'm planning on storing for a very long time or like when I make um, chicken for uh, dehydrating, I 
um, don't use any oils. I don't use anything to cook it. I use just plain chicken breast. I slice it and I I cook it in the crock pot for eight hours and then slice it really thin and then dehydrate it. And then they're like chicken chips. My husband and my dog both love them. So there we go. That's how I used my um, $10 worth of chicken. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye.